Hey guys, today I want to show you a really fun way to play Attack Maris here in the beta branch. This is going to be a pure Attack Maris build. So going all the way down the Attack branch here using Blaze. Now we do have Molten Hot on, so we are going to get some value for our casts out of that too. So nothing really crazy going on in the skill tree. Um, in terms of the gear, we've stacked up 668% attack damage. Because of Molten Hot, we have more than 100 cast damage as well. Now, we're not going in with uh, much life, only 208, but we're going in with 212 evasion. So more than a 50% chance to evade, and we are going in with one revive here. This is a pretty fun way to play Attack Maris. I'll show you, we do have Curse of Weakness on using the evasion chest piece, Queen of Worms. Using this pretty good relic, I like this one for the attack builds. Using this staff I have, this one was just sitting sitting in my vault. It has attack crit chance, range, and attack damage. One uh, can't tell on here for the revive. Gone these these gloves for attack speed, not really using the dash duration. Just got life boots because we were lacking life altogether. Now I've just got this uh, belt on. You could put any other belt on, really. You could boost up your legend offers if you want to. Uh, by putting the other belt on. Or you could even put waste on this setup if you really wanted to. Uh, over here, we just have this one for Legend and Master Offers as well as the uh, attack damage and stuff. So Now with this build, we're going to want to take um, Summer to get Fury here. So we'll see if we can get her. Our attack speed should be decent at base here. It's nothing crazy. Um, our attack speed can definitely uh, go, go, go kind of nuts with this build. So we're going to try and get Summer for Fury now. I still think Fury is better than Gem High, uh, even with the Gem and Geminator gloves. Hey, Summer shows up straight away for us here. Uh, we don't have many uh, ults and stuff here at the moment, so, I mean, we can spend one to try and get something interesting here. Uh, we've got Fury at purple level, so that's pretty good. We'll take that. That's pretty much what we wanted from her. Now, the other gods, you could, now, on the attack builds, you can always take Krom, but I like to mix it up and take some different gods. Um, now, we could take some Tornadoes. I mean... These are chance-based ones, though, and I don't have a whole lot of luck. Now, we could ult for someone else and go for the hit-based ones instead. Okay, the face show up, but nothing really that interesting right here. Winter is always an interesting choice. Do we want to take some winter on this one? Uh, let's keep ulting, see if we can get something better to land here. Deadly attack is alright. Necromancy execution. We don't mind execution. Uh, we could take Mort. And uh, Summer together here. It's an interesting choice. And I guess maybe we'll see if we can get Justice as the third one, just to uh, be a bit more defensive as we go here. Okay, Krom does show up. If he wants to give me something good, I guess we can take him. Yeah, he didn't show up with anything interesting. Okay, Winter again. Um, yeah, I think Dive is unfortunately pretty weak still. I think that, that needs a buff. We could take the Summer-Winter <laughs> combo, but I think maybe we'll go for Justice here. Okay. Man, not giving me... Uh, <laughs> not really giving me much here at the moment. Okay, we've got Fury. We'll take that again. So we've got a little bit unlucky with some of our rolls here. Now, we don't have crazy, crazy high Master Legend offers, but we have some. Um, and we do have a decent uh, Expert offers too, so... We'll try and go for the purple stuff if we can. Um, obviously, if we can get Master and all that, we'll, we'll take it. But yeah, I didn't want to focus on the legendaries with this particular build. I wanted to see if we can run it without really focusing on, on just going Master and Legend offers all the time. Okay, she's not really giving me anything. Let's roll her here. Oh, okay. Well, we got Vampirism this time. I think it's probably worth taking. Uh, Soul Seal is pretty good. It's, just a, it's another chance-based one, though. And we... We just don't have a lot of luck with the setup here. We could do a Lucky Maris build, but it's not exactly what we've uh, gone for here. Early game on a lot of builds is relatively straightforward, though, in the uh, beta branch. It doesn't start ramping up to a little bit a little bit later on into the run. Now, obviously, I already have, you know, a bunch of min-max gear, so part of the testing here is to test the end game, the, you know, the higher darkness levels um, for the balance and all that stuff. Okay, um... Cromboy again shows up. We could take him instead and go without justice. I guess we'll do that. Save a couple of vaults. Now, obviously, Cromboy is really, really good. Any attacking build, and, and you know, he's he's very, very strong. Fatality and God of War is obviously, you know, two of the great legendaries in the game for any that attacker. Just... Okay. Okay, we also got Ravens, which we could take early on here. 
I think we will take Ravens for the chance of getting uh, Mayhem to show up here. Okay, you want to give me some more rolls? No, but you give me Gemini. We could take that. Or we could just take the um, the Guidance here. Do we want to go multiple projectiles? Which, uh, which attack are we going to take here? Might make sense to take uh, Mort's one here. Maybe we go the Guidance. I don't know. Gemini is pretty nice, though. You know what? I'm going to go for the, the raw damage. And we'll, we'll uh, try and take Mort's, maybe. Maybe that's a mistake, you know. Gemini is obviously really, really good, but... I want to do something a little different with this run, since we've done uh, a lot of runs in the past. <laughs> Especially on Laurie, and we're taking Gemini and, and Chrom together, because... Man, it's just so strong. With the bouncing arrows, especially. Now, someone like Time isn't a bad choice. Getting the extra gems and stuff is really nice. You can see early game. We don't have a lot of AoE yet, so... Okay, we got uh, Guidance up to 9% here, which is not bad. We like doing crit damage with our attacks here. I don't have a ton of crit chance at base. We do have a little bit on a couple of pieces, but... Nothing crazy. It's not a crit build that we're going for here specifically. Okay. Unfortunately, not really getting much high level stuff here to show up. Warp Acts. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I like to put Master and, and Legend and Expert offers on is just me going, <laughs> going through a run on a high difficulty level and only seeing white stuff show up. It just, just doesn't feel that great overall. Um... Now I understand that there's always going to be some RNG in this sort of game, but I don't know. The more I've been thinking about it, the more that I think this game sort of does differentiate itself. We could take Breath of Fire as a strike. This game does sort of differentiate itself by being a loot, RNG loot game, as well as a roguelike type formula. Um, and the combination of the two poses some really interesting challenges. Um... Because in your traditional roguelikes, a lot of a lot of it's based on on sort of luck during the run, and you know the kind of the build making during the run. Whereas when you go in with a fully decked out, you know, loadout, a min max gear, having it feel <coughs> feel bad when you've spent a whole lot of hours min maxing a gear set just does, doesn't really feel that great. And it, I think it's a, a pretty unique challenge that this game has to has to really tackle. Um, as I said, a lot of the other roguelikes, like, yeah, there, are, there is some meta progression stuff and you do slowly get stronger, but a lot of the build making is sort of done during the run. And I wouldn't be opposed to there being more build making during the run here, but obviously the blessings are the main sort of thing. Oh boy, do we want to take his rampaging? Do we just take it? I don't know if I really, uh, I would not go for morts, maybe. Could just take it while it's on offer at purple level here. Maybe we will. Maybe it was a mistake <laughs> not taking Gemini. I should have just gone big AoE attacks, but I think we'll be all right. Chrom's obviously great for this sort of build. Now, if you wanted to really, really min-max what you're doing in here, you know, someone like Justice for Defense, Summer's Fury, and, you know, stuff like God of War together is really, really good. But you, you can also go Sickles. Sickles is pretty strong. Um, some of the folks in the Discord showed me some of their <laughs> attempts they did with Sickles, and yeah, man, Sickles is, is still pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if you guys were around on the channel, but a, a month or two ago, I did a Lorian Sickles only build with Bask in Greatness, and that has to be one of the strongest builds in the live game. I mean, it's pretty pretty crazy how how fast we killed the bosses on that one. I think maybe the Black Lightning was a bit faster. I don't know. But the Sickles was just like super, super easy mode. We were doing so much damage. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Um, so Sickles still pretty powerful in the beta branch here. So if Sickles is, you know, you're one of your favorite things to run, fear not. As Sickles has survived, at least thus far. Um, I do think some of these other strikes on Maris, though, man, they're not keeping up with something like Sickles, or just in general, the attack build here. Obviously, you can still make it work at Darkness 100. 
I'm not saying it's complete trash or anything like that. I think a lot, most of the builds feel much more viable now. So even a, even a build that I'm saying is maybe not quite as good as some of the others. Oh, dash recharge speed did. 27% is really good. We'll, we'll take that. Even some of the builds that I'm saying are, are lagging behind a little bit. The, the gap between... Let's say, for example, in the live game, the gap between attack Maris and, like, cast Maris is insane. Uh, in the um, beta branch here, that gap has 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 come down significantly. The attack Maris build can now actually get a clear at darkness 100. Hurrah! Which is great, but I still think some of the builds are weaker than some of the others. Which is what the point I was trying to make in my previous video. I don't know if I got that point across very well, but... I'm not saying that they're trash now. They're just the there is still a bit of a difference in power, in my opinion. Now, do we want to take? I think we take armor here, buff up our defenses a bit since we don't have justice, and we'll take the life from down here. Thank you. Uh, now with Cromboy, we have a bit more AOE going on here, so uh, I think health on kill is. Is pretty strong in the in the in the current beta branch patch here. I think it is. I think it's one of the factors that makes uh, Darkness 100 a little bit easier now, or not necessarily easier, but yeah, I would say maybe easier overall. I don't know, because you still have to build correctly for it and all that stuff. You can't just uh, <laughs> waltz it and, and, and hope to beat everything if you have no good gear. You know what I mean. But from the perspective of having min-max gear set, I do think Darkness 100 um, is a little bit easier in this beta branch now. Um, but one of the things that makes it a bit easier is the fact that there are so many skeletons and we have access to a lot of health on kill. And look, I can take more health on kill here too if I wanted. But attack hit might be interesting or we just go uh, damage here. Uh, let's go the health on attack hit. <laughs> Why not boost up our defenses even more here? As you can see, how quickly I'm I'm sort of healing back. And as you can see, how the damage output here is nothing crazy. It's all right. The knockback uh, sure helps <laughs> with this particular fight, though. Oh, he's got my my dash nerfed here. Okay, where is he? Here we go. So knockback is really, really good against this boss. If you are struggling with this boss in particular, knockback can be really, really powerful in this here fight. Uh, but as you see, even though we're not killing him quickly, uh, we could take something like blades for a bit of uh, a bit of extra help here. But um, kind of just want to go with the attack, the pure attack here, since that's what we're doing. As I was saying, though, as you can see, we're not killing him very fast, but the boss boss fight is not particularly difficult with this kind of setup. Okay, <laughs> he lasted more than a minute here, though, but... And there are, there are some builds that can still melt him within 10 seconds, so that that's the sort of disparity I'm talking about. It's not like a, a Maris can't do it on her attack build, and it's not like it's... It's impossibly difficult or something like that. It's just not quite as potent as some of the other builds. And so there is still a little bit of a disparity. Now, obviously, maybe I don't have, you know, everything fully min-maxed here yet. And I could have taken Sickles instead. But I don't th I don't think it's healthy for the game to have one strike on Maris be the only go-to strike that feels good. You know what I mean? I think, especially considering she only has one strike slot. And if you want to go attack Maris, you know what I mean? Uh, but since we do have Seared in our skill tree, maybe it does uh, make sense to take some casts here. Maybe we should have taken the blades, but mm, that's all right. We'll see what else we can get up. Upgrade the uh, ravens here on the chance we can get some mayhem, but hasn't rolled yet, and we're nine minutes in, so, you know. Uh, we do have our Fury leveled up now, which is nice. If we can come across the Rarity Upgrade Shrine, that'd be really nice too. I've been, I've been getting it in roughly maybe one one in every three runs or so. So it seems to be somewhat common, but not, you know, not super, super common, I guess. But 
I'm not sure what rarity is assigned to that one in particular. There are some that feel far rarer than that one, so I don't know, somewhere in the middle. But Attack Maris was always a build that I really wanted <laughs> to work in the live game, but man, especially when you were slowed when you were attacking at Darkness 100, it just did not feel good. Um, I did several attempts in the background that I never posted because they all just died, you know, to the ants and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I do think, yeah, as I was saying before, the health on kill pretty, pretty strong in this patch. Um, especially with the increased amount of <laughs> skeletons, which I don't I think it's more fun to have more enemies, uh, that are not super, super tanks. So I'm not complaining that there are more skeletons, but it does come with a side effect of activating health on kill becomes much, much, much easier and much more frequent, which just keeps you alive. Um, so there are a lot of builds uh, in the current beta branch where you can go in with about 200 life and you can sort of get away with it. There are some other builds at 200 life is just not quite going to do it for you because either <laughs> some of these types of enemies or the djinn. Well, the, the bombers too. The bombers can be pretty rough towards the end, but... Man, if you don't have enough damage output to melt the djinn pretty quickly, that fight becomes kind of difficult. And low health characters will just end up dying. One of the reasons we put a revive on here for this particular setup that we went for. Okay, we'll keep going on our rampaging when that shows up. We'd love that rarity upgrade shrine if we can get it. Now, we could also just put the black lamp on and more Master and Legend offers and stuff and just do that route. But I wanted to do something a little bit different where we're not just stacking <laughs> Master and Legend offers the whole time. As much as I do enjoy my Master and Legend offers, and they are very powerful, I think it's fun to have different setups that feel viable as well. We could just take Blaze this time. I mean, it's not as high level as it was before, which, you know, maybe is a mistake. But, oh, hello, didn't see you there. As you can see, even without something like God of War or Fatality, we kill them relatively quickly. We have a lot of attack speed from Summer here, though, which is making a big difference. Okay, we don't actually care for this stuff so much now, but I guess we can take the Blades upgrades. I think the, uh, the ants are feeling much more like, I don't know, <laughs> compatible enemies now. They're not just going to end three quarters of your runs. Which is good. Um, I, th I still think the uh, the run is feeling a little bit easier. As you can see, we're just healing off everything that we take like pretty easily. So I don't know if they'd want to consider toning down the health on kill a bit. Like I'm not asking <laughs> for it to be nerfed into the ground. Don't get me wrong. But I think maybe it is a little too strong the way it is now. Because just staying alive when you have something like the Queen of Worms on is just... Man, it is <laughs> so easy. Um, obviously, if you don't have the damage output, you can still really, you know, start taking a lot of hits and, and all that stuff, but... With this particular setup here, we also have more than 50% evasion, which is why we're evading a lot of the hits as well, so... I think evasion is just quietly also a really powerful stat that, I, uh, you know, not everyone really uses all the time. Um, I've made some videos on, uh, you know, evasion in the past. I think it's quite strong. Uh, we can go up to 10 ravens here. Why not? Uh, and I haven't really tested much evasion in the beta branch here. So this is uh, actually the first build I've really done with evasion on it. Um, so far, I mean, so far we're just sort of cruising through here like, <laughs> like it was nothing, basically. Oh, we take more attack speed. Yes, please. We could take more heal there, but as, as you can see, it doesn't feel necessary right now. And this is what I'm talking about. There's a lot more skeletons in in here now, which means you can just activate health on kill way more often, which certainly is not a bad way to build if you want to get it clears at Darkness 100. I think um, it was always pretty strong before. We're not getting anything else roll here. Unfortunately, going in with so few re-rolls is kind of limiting here too. I think something like uh, fried rice is, is is still quite valuable. There are other relics that are better than it now if you get really good RNG um, to roll on, a, you know, a random randomly rolled relic. Bit of alliteration there for you. Um, but yeah, as you can see, 
<laughs> Man. And I'm just not getting my attack rolling here at all. That's alright. We'll make the raven super strong here. Why not? Not that ravens are, you know, crazy damage output or anything, but we'll, we'll buff them up. Okay, we've got a damage node right before the boss. So this is kind of nice. We'll pop it and uh, kill it as quickly as we can here. Now, there are some different ways you can run attack Maris. Like I said before, you can focus more on something like sickles and, and buffing up your attack damage if you really want to. Sickles are really, really, really strong when you get them leveled quite a bit with high attack power. Um, again, it's one of those things that feels like a little bit of an outlier for me personally. Um, I'm not advocating for big nerfs either, either, but... I don't know, it's something that I might want to consider looking at. I mean, look, with the damage node, we uh, melted through her pretty quickly. We'll see how the Jin goes. The Jin is still... Still probably the most difficult part of Darkness 100. I think the fact that you have a couple of difficult waves before you hit the Jin can also be kind of tricky on some builds, but... We're actually cruising here with the evasion. As I said before, I haven't really tried much evasion yet, so this is really... <laughs> Proving to be really strong with this uh, this setup we have here, which is really nice. But we do have some trickier waves coming up here pretty soon. So we're just looking for some more map events. If we can get the rarity upgrade to master, that'd be really nice. We can just put that on, uh, on our gear too. It rolls on the relics. I've actually got a couple of pretty good relics to roll, which is awesome. Got one with ults, upgrade to master. Oh, we'll take the warpack to you this time. Ults, upgrade to master, and what was it? Attack speed, I think, which is actually really, really nice for this build too. We could have put that on instead, but decided just to stack up a bunch of attack damage and go pure, pure attack here for this one. And because we have relatively low master and legend offers, we haven't even seen um, Rom or anything. By the way, I think we did pick up... Uh, <laughs> Vampirism pretty early on here, which is an un another reason we're, that we're uh, keeping on top of our life total. Yeah, we did. So not only are we uh, getting health on kill, we're getting vampirism on kill on on hit too, which is yep, pretty strong. So I think this setup, I think uh, Mort is pretty good for an attack build. Chrom is obviously pretty great for an attack build. Now you can go a different route. You can take time and and go gem high and. I think actually time and mort together is an interesting combo because you get stuff like execution plus stuff like gem high together and warped attack which is a really good combo and then you can put on the new gloves the geminator too just to make it extra extra silly um as you can see they're not really doing much to me even though they're flying around pretty quickly here we'll just take a uh, breath of fire upgrade here I still like Breath of Fire. I think it's a really good uh, strike. I don't think it's the strongest strike in the game, but it, I think it's really good. It's consistent. You don't have to spec into luck, really, to, to make it go crazy. Can you die, please, uh, <laughs> Mr. Bomber? As you can see, though, with this setup, man, we're just... We're just tanking everything and evading everything and just healing it all off. Okay. Yeah, let's go more pickups here. Could go the Adept offers, I guess, if we really wanted to, but... So I think Attack Maris is pretty pretty interesting now. Like I was saying earlier, in the previous video I made, I'm not, I wasn't complaining that she's, like, feeling too weak or anything. I just think uh, her dash spec and her, her cast spec and even the summon spec now are just... They feel a little bit stronger to me, but... I did also have some of the guys in the Discord saying that they had a lot of success with um, uh, Maris' attack build. So well, I have to recognize uh, that maybe I just haven't done enough testing on it or tried, uh, you know, enough of the different setups too. Which is another reason I wanted to do this video here and try another another run. I mean, with Vampirism, I'll tell you what, Justice <laughs> doesn't feel necessary at all, which... I do like Justice not being a requirement for Darkness 100. I think that is good. I think we are pretty close to uh, where the game needs to be, at least in terms of build variety, I think. Okay, this yeah, this is where things really start to ramp up. We have ants and doggos at the same time here. 
fast dealing more damage. Eh. Got some blades out there somewhere, not doing a whole lot for me. Even this wave, though, we're just at max health the whole time here, so. They still do big chunk damage to me, but you can see how uh, how much I'm evading here as well, which is lovely. Okay, we've got some serpents. We've got mayhem. It's a bit late for mayhem, huh? <laughs> what do we take? Lifelink? Serpents or mayhem? I mean, I don't think mayhem's going to do too much right now. You know what? Let's take some serpents. Why not? It's a cast I don't really use that much. So, let's do it. Lucky, lucky stone, huh? Let's pick up the lucky, lucky stone. Okay. Oh, uh, we've got another node over here, which is more attack speed. We could take attack damage or area or anything, but I think we'll just go the, the speed. <laughs> Look how fast we're attacking. What did we get it up to? 0 0.23. So, I got it much faster on some of the other builds I tried on stream the other day. We got it down to 0. I think one of the Lorian builds I did, I got it to like 0.09 or something, and one of the Maris builds was 0.11. Some pretty crazy attack speed. I think um, Summer feels really, really good on these attack builds with her Fury now. I mean, Fury has always been really strong, but man, it feels really good on some of these attack builds. Um, which is awesome. I like that Summer has a place in the... Uh, oh, whoop, they nerfed my dashes. And this is, uh, <laughs> this is one of the things that can make uh, the end of this run still pretty tough. As you can see, they nerf your dash and then just put so much crap all over you. We'll go Bloodlust here for even more attack speed, huh? What is this node down here? Anything useful for me? Alright, can we kill this thing before the uh, Jin shows up, please? Alright, we got him. Okay. Got another attack there, that's nice. Alright, we need some cover for this gin fight though, huh? Damage for 30 seconds. Alright, that's not bad. Let's go here where there's cover though. So no damage node or anything. <laughs> you can just see the attack speed we have is kind of insane. It's hilarious. There he is. Hey, buddy. Okay, that one we like to hide from because it still does a lot of damage. As you can see, though, vampirism? Very, very strong. Especially with uh, uh, Summer's... Fury here. The combo is really, really nice. And the knockback on him, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> okay, we can avoid this one. Alright, nice. Okay, so maybe we didn't need the revive in the end here, but we played it pretty safe. And look, my, uh, my point in saying that these builds aren't feeling as strong as some of the others is not to say that they're bad or that you can't do it. The difference there is that that took us like a full, almost a full minute to beat him, where some of the other, the other builds, oh, that's the, uh, that's the relic I was talking about. I'll, I'll, my, maybe I'll do a loot showcase uh, for a video here at some point too. But my, my point is that some of the builds can literally beat the gin within like 10 seconds, and that's sort of the difference. There are still some builds that are like that. We'll go the Jack Sandals of Regeneration. There we go. Attack Maris has defeated the Jin. So that was pretty fun. That was a cool run. We didn't really get anything master. Only one master there. No legendaries basically except Vampirism. Vampirism probably saved, <laughs> saving us in the Jin fight there, I think. Vampirism plus uh, Fury is just quietly now a very, very nice combination on these uh, attacking builds. So that's one thing to keep uh, keep your eye out here for. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, there's another build for the beta branch. If you like the video, smash like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic, amazing day. Take it easy.